During a medical malpractice lawsuit, why do we, the attorneys who represent the injured patient, have to itemize in detail all the problems and all the injuries that you suffered because your doctor was careless? Why do we have to do that? And why do we have to share that with the defense? Would you like to know the answer? Come join me for a walk along the beach as I share with you the answer to that question. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. As we see a jet fly off into the distance there, okay. make lots of noise. In a medical malpractice case in New York, we are required, in fact obligated, to provide the defense with a detailed list of exactly what injuries you suffered as well as a detailed itemized list of exactly what we believe, what we claim the doctor did improperly. Now, why is that? I'll tell you why. At the very beginning of your lawsuit, we file a set of papers called a summons and a complaint. The complaint is the actual document that starts the lawsuit. It alerts the doctor in the hospital to the fact that they are being sued. Now, it in general, we put down allegations in the complaint that says the doctor was negligent, the doctor was careless, the doctor violated from the standard of care, here's the time frame in which this happened, but we typically do not go into great detail in that document. Now, the purpose of that document is to alert the doctor and to give him an understanding of why he's being sued. The doctor's attorney in response now has to respond to those allegations. And typically what happens is the doctor's attorney turns around and says, we deny all of your allegations. We deny that anything was done wrong. And if something was done wrong, we deny that the doctor caused or contributed to your injuries. And even if the doctor did cause your injuries and did cause you harm, guess what? Your injuries are not as bad as you claim them to be. Those are the typical defenses we see in these medical malpractice cases in New York. So now we've started the lawsuit with this document called a complaint. At some point afterwards, a short time afterwards, we are required to provide the defense with another document called a bill of particulars. And what that is, is an itemized detailed listing of exactly what our complaints are exactly what we are claiming in this particular case, exactly what our allegations are. This is the opportunity for us to lay it all out, to show to the defense exactly why we believe the doctor was careless and what injuries you suffered as a result of that carelessness. This gives the doctor and his attorney a clear understanding of exactly why he's in this case. It gives them a clear understanding of exactly what the allegations are. Now, you should know something important. The only way we're really going to know exactly the detailed allegations here is if a medical expert has reviewed all of your records and confirmed that, yes, you have a valid basis for a case. In fact, you may not even realize this, but in New York, we are prevented, prohibited, from starting a lawsuit on your behalf in a malpractice case unless we have had a medical expert review your records who confirms that yes, you have a valid basis for a case. So now that we know before starting your lawsuit that you have a valid case, now when we have to provide the defense with this document called the Bill of Particulars, now I will already know exactly the detailed claims that my expert believes occurred in this case, that the doctor failed to do A, B, and C. And as a result of his failure to do A, B, and C, you now suffered the following significant permanent injuries. And I am required to set forth all of those claims, detail all of the claims of negligence, what he did and did not do, and what injuries you suffered as a result of that. In addition, we are also required to list not just the physical damages, but any other damages you suffered, such as economic damages. Did you suffer financial loss? Were you out of work for a period of time? As well as any other elements of damages we are going to be claiming in your particular case. Now, why is that important? It's important because now the defense will understand why this case has been brought. They'll be able to show it to their expert to then refute or try and refute what our claims are. Now, at some point during your lawsuit, you will be questioned by the defense attorney and the defense attorney is going to ask you hundreds and thousands of questions during a pretrial process called a deposition. We also call it an examination before trial. It's really a question and answer session that's given under oath 
And now during COVID times, it typically takes place on a Zoom video call. Pre-COVID, it would take place in your attorney's office in this conference room. So the defense attorney will now know exactly what injuries you have. And he'll ask lots and lots of questions about your medical history to see if by chance there's some of those injuries that you had beforehand pre-existing to this malpractice. So it gives them a better understanding and knowledge of exactly what we are claiming, what injuries you have. It will help them go ahead and question you during your deposition. Did you know that if we do not provide the defense with this document, they're going to make all sorts of noise to the court and claim that they are at a disadvantage, that they are being prejudiced. Why? Because they're going in blindly and they don't know exactly what our real claims are. And that is true. That is one of the key reasons why we are required to provide this information to the defense, to particularize, to itemize, to detail exactly what it is that occurred. You might think that trials and these types of cases occur by ambush. That may have gone on 30, 40 years ago. It doesn't happen today. Instead, the defense is entitled to know exactly what our claims are. We want them to know all the details of what our allegations are. We want them to know about all your injuries. Why? So there's no surprise. So now when we ultimately get to trial, they will know all the claims. They will know all the injuries that you claim to have suffered. And they can't turn around at the time of trial and say, Judge, Mr. Ojinski didn't tell us that his client suffered the following 12 injuries. We had no clue. We had no way to prepare. We didn't know what questions to ask because we didn't know that his expert was going to come in and talk about all these injuries. No, 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 that's not going to happen. Instead, the defense is going to know from the very outset, here's your injuries, here's the disabilities, here's the limitations, here are the damages, both economic and non-economic, and now, here's exactly why we believe that we are more likely right than wrong, and this is exactly what we claim the doctors did and did not do. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you just to watch. I got a helicopter landing in the background. If you notice, I'm right by the airport here in St. Martin. There we go, helicopter's landing. Um, so why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you because I enjoy hearing the helicopter rotor as it destroys the audio in today's video. No. The reason I'm sharing this with you is to open your eyes and to help you understand how these types of cases work in New York. You know, I recognize you're likely watching this video because you wanted to see the beautiful scenery. No, I realize you're watching this because you likely have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit but haven't done so yet because you still have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.